I really grew as a person. It was one of the best decisions I've ever made, period. It opened my eyes. It was the most fun I ever had. This is Study Abroad. I'm Patrick Sutton. I am director of the Gaiety School of Acting, which is the National Theatre School of Ireland. The heart and soul, the heartbeat of the Gaiety School of Acting, the National Theatre School of Ireland, really is our two-year intensive full-time training program. Uh, we have this arrangement, this partnership with IES and it's become one of the flagship projects for us because the uh, calibre, the quality, the value that the IES students bring to my students here in Dublin and the value that my students uh, give and offer to uh, the IES students is very, very palpable, very, very tangible. The student who wishes to come to Ireland, to this extraordinary country where somehow, out of a very small population, we are producing writers of extraordinary calibre. You know, you look at W.B. Yeats, you look at uh, Samuel Beckett, you look at Seamus Heaney, you look at Brian Friel, you look at Marina Carr. For a very small country, we are extraordinarily good at telling stories in various forms. And that's very much what people find themselves engaging in when they're here. We train actors, you know, Colin Farrell came here, Aidan Turner came here, you know. You can't see the Hobbit movie now without seeing Aidan Turner. Every single stage in Dublin would be populated by actors coming out of this programme. And it's, it's a, it really is an opportunity for American students to come and uh, taste what we do and share what we do and be an equal part of what we do. After a number of weeks, the students, are f the students find themselves uh, working in small groups, small cohorts, and the, um, the energy and the discipline and the order and the intellect that's coming from the American students and the talent that's coming from the Irish students, that's a chemical mix. And what happens there is that after a week or two, people start uh, um, uh, taking risks, taking chances, and slowly you see this uh, sense of um, confidence building and it's a confidence that's both sides, like the confidence that our actors will give the IES students and also the other around. We're not in the business of, of uh, simply training our actors to sit on their backsides and hope that the phone will ring. We're very much in the business of, of trying to ensure that people have the creative and the intellectual wherewithal to build work. I mean goodness me if, if um, you know, live theatre is essentially about, as Shakespeare would have said, holding a mirror up to nature and, and, and seeing a reflection of ourselves. So there's no better way to do that than to give um, the IES students an opportunity to express and explore their creative voice, um, along with the Irish students to express and explore their creative voice. An IES student is, um, is, uh, would arrive here for a warm at quarter after eight in the morning time. Uh, that would be a very physical and vocal opportunity to start the day and to kind of warm the body up. They'd be going into an acting class for two or three hours after that with one of two acting teachers. They'd follow that by a short lunch break. They'd follow that by a very focused and disciplined um, movement class, which would be either tap dancing or stage combat or um, a creative dance class. And they'd follow that with a text analysis, an opportunity to look at, a, look at how you read a play, how you interpret a play, how you break a play down and find the, mo the movements or the beats in that play. Um, or they might follow that with a theatre history or a, uh, yeah, an opportunity to take a kind of a, a, a big look at, at the world in which they're going to be making theatre. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the day goes from quarter past eight in the morning to you know, quarter past six. And then at night time, you're obviously expected to fill in your journal. You're expected to... Uh, um, uh, reflect on the work and then you're also expected to rehearse what you've been asked to rehearse for the next day. So it wouldn't be unusual for a student to find themselves um, yeah, f f full, going full steam, you know, time for laundry at the weekend. And there's also time for travel. I mean, one of the great things about this country, you know, is, is that uh, you get in a car on the East Coast, you know, and uh, you drive for three hours and you're on the west coast, you know, or from the north to the south, you know. So there's extraordinary opportunities to see the landscape and the countryside. And I know that IES students have taken those opportunities very seriously. One of the great joys that I have is that every single, um, the, the positive and the warm and the generous responses that we've got from IES students having had the experience to immerse themselves, and I make no apology, it is a full-scale immersion. You know, it's, 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 it's jumping right in, right into the swimming pool. Um, 
And, and the responses that we've had have been absolutely phenomenal. In actual fact, the responses have been kind of life-affirming and life-changing because people have found themselves in a conservatory training uh, program. Uh, it, it, it's not a liberal arts program. We are here to train actors. Train actors, is that what we, that's, that's what we do. And that opportunity for, for, uh, for US students to immerse themselves at this level is, is great. I, I think we're going to be providing uh, American students through IES with an opportunity absolutely second to none. Thank you.